Will that be all for you today, Miss Lovely? Uh-huh. Let's see. That's $1.89. There you go. Thank you, and come again. Thank you, Sam. Look out below. Did you hear that? Ahoy, clear the runway. That sounds like Wowser. I don't see anyone. Hey, up there. Oh, my goodness. Wowser, what is that thing? Oh, it's just a little gadget the professor designed for me to get around in since we're going to be living up in that floating Skylab for a while. Huh, so that's what's floating around up there. Gee, I hope that doesn't mean that you and the professor have decided to move out of the neighborhood, Wowser. Oh, no, it's just going to be a temporary situation while the professor's up there running some kind of experiment on all the different effects of atmospheric pressure. It must be awful exciting living way up there. Well, actually, it gets pretty boring just floating like a cloud all the time, and I was sort of glad I had to come out and pick up the groceries. Oh, that reminds me, order's all packed and ready to go. And by the way, could you throw in one more bag of licorice? Sure thing. I would love to go along with you to see the Skylab. You think the professor would mind if I came for a visit? I guess it'd be all right, but I can't think straight on an empty stomach. Well, maybe one of these will help. Oh, boy, I can feel my mind beginning to clear already. A bullseye! I'll go tell the professor you'll be coming by for a little visit. Gee, thanks! Here you go. Bye, Linda. Pick you up in an hour. Okay, see you later. There's my pal. That stinker. Somebody ought to wake him up. Hey, Ratso! Now, I wonder what all that noise could be about. Ratso, Gatso! Show yourself, whoever you are. Who's doing all that yelling? Uh -huh. All right, pal. Let me see your face. Hey, it's me, Wowser. Hi, I'm back. Did you have any problems flying the dinghy copter? No, that baby ran real smooth this time. Well, it looks like everything's here all right, except that I seem to remember ordering two of these tomatoes. Well, I let Ratso have one of them. Huh? By the way, Professor, Linda asked me if it would be all right with you if she came up here to visit us a little later on. Oh, she did, did she? Well, I think that's an excellent idea. Well, then, if it's all right with you, can we go ahead and pick her up right after lunch? Why, wait. Let's go pick her up right now. Great. Me and my big mouth. Why, Linda, it's a little too early to be watching for the swallows to be flying overhead. Well, you see, I'm waiting for Wowser and the Professor to pick me up. Where are they taking you? Right now, they're living in the Professor's Flying Skylab, and I'm going up there to visit them. Aren't you afraid? I'm sure that there won't be any danger. Professor Dingy built the Skylab himself. And you know, it just might be a very relaxing trip. Do you think I could come along with you? Well, I don't see why not. Then I must go inside and put on something a little more attractive while we still have some time. <laughs> I'll just sneak on board when they get here. <laughs> and then I'm going to teach that dog some new tricks. Attention all hands. Be prepared to stop. Look, destination off the starboard bow. There's Linda, and it looks like Beatrice also decided to come along for the ride. Steady as she goes. All aboard. <laughs> Let her go! Yeah, bon voyage! Hi, Professor. Good morning, ladies. Welcome aboard. Oh, I'm sure the trip will be full of fun and surprises. <laughs> oh, Professor, you're truly the wittiest person I know. Why, thank you. Would you care for a cookie? Well, thank you for offering, Professor, but now I'm on a very strict diet. Cookies can be very beneficial. I've heard that sugar can give you lots of energy. You're referring, of course, to the conversion of certain complex carbohydrates. Well, I happen to think they're great. In either case, I hope you won't be offended if I refrain from having one of those delectable little tidbits today, Professor. Otherwise, I'll never keep my girlish figure. Yes, I see. <laughs> Don't anybody worry about a thing, because I've got the perfect solution. <laughs> 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 This soiree needs a little air conditioning. And it's lucky I just happened to bring the right tool along. You know, 
it feels like there's a draft coming in from somewhere. It's coming from under the table. <laughs> Please, ladies, calm down. There's nothing to worry about. It's all right. Why, that's just the automatic equalizing vent. It releases pressure so the hot air stays in the balloon. Yeah, nobody wants the hot air to escape. Would you excuse me for just one minute? You've got to get down underneath the cabin and seal that thing up right now. What? I'm not coming under there. You no, know, I really think it's time for us to be going home now, Professor. No rush. I'll be serving lunch just as soon as Wowser closes the hatch. Boy, he sure does know how to get to me. It just kind of annoys me that I'm always the one who gets stuck having to come out here and fix all these things all the time. Aha! Found the control panel. <laughs> well, here she goes. <laughs> That'll make things more interesting. <laughs>